Hello and welcome again. In this video, we'll give an example about the existential attack on the Elgamal signature. Now, this example is based on whatever we did in the previous video. So, if you haven't watched the previous video, I'll suggest you go ahead and re uh, watch that first. Otherwise, this is not going to make any sense uh, for you. So, in this example, we'll just talk about some specific values for the uh, public parameters and how will you go about uh, doing this existential attack on the El Kamal signature. So for this particular example, let's just suppose that we have this public parameters 937, uh, which is the prime P164, which is a generator of the group, and this 387 here, but that was uh, alpha to the uh, private exponent. Now, uh, we don't need to actually know the uh, private exponent to be able to a fake signature. That's the purpose of this existential attack. You don't need the private key to produce a valid signature. Now, in this particular case, because the numbers are small, you could go ahead and do the uh, discrete log of 387 in base alpha and get the private key, but let's not do that. So the purpose of this is, uh, just to give you an example, in reality, you could do this this way. We're gonna do now with really huge numbers, and it won't uh, make much of a difference, this is still feasible. So you can still do this attack even if the numbers here are quite large. Because the only thing that we're going to do here is just modular exponentiations, multiplication, and inversions, which don't take that much time um, in a computer. Now, discrete logs, of course, that's not feasible if the numbers are large, at least for now. All right, so, so let's go ahead and, and do that. So we have this public parameters. And so, remember what Eve does. So, this is gonna be playing the side of Eve. Eve will have to choose two numbers, uh, i and j, between 2 and p minus 2, and one of them has to be relatively prime with p minus 1. So, that's exactly what I have here. So, 2, p minus 2 is f uh, 935, that's because that's our number prime p, 937. Uh, is, is right here, so minus 2 is 9.35. So I match these two numbers there, and I have to make sure that at least one of them that I will call j is relatively prime with 9.36. So let's see, so we can, for example, choose i to be uh, 9, uh, 3.55, like in here, and I can choose whatever number I want for that that, that doesn't have any restrictions. The one that has a restriction is the j value, so in this case, we'll choose 283, and 283 is one of the several numbers that are in this range that are relatively prime with 936, so we choose just one of them. So these are the two values, and this is something that Eve will do. So Eve will choose these two values. So she has kind of the liberty of choosing whatever she wants, as long as J here is, of course, relatively prime with 936. So then once that's chosen, then we're going to actually compute the signature now. Now the signature, remember, the first part of the signature is the number r, and according to what we saw in the previous video, that's uh, the generator to the i times the number b to the j modulo p, and this i and this j that are here are the ones that Eve chose, and this alpha and this b here are from the public parameters of the public or the public key. So alpha for us is 164, that's from the public um, parameters, 355 is the number uh, i that I have here. So let me show you. This is the i that we chose. And uh, the b is the public parameter part of that, which is this one here. And the j was the thing that Eve chose. So you will do this uh, modular exponentiations here. So if you actually do this 164 to 355 modulo the prime number, which is 937, you will get 4. 76. Similar for this one, you will do 387 uh, to the 283 modulo the, this uh, prime number, and you'll get 528. And then you just multiply these two numbers, and then you take the modulo 937, which in this case you get 212. As you can see, this this all operations that are here can be done uh, quite uh, quickly, even if the numbers are really large. It doesn't matter. They can still do this. All right, so now that's the part of one of the part of the signature, which is R. Now well, let's compute the uh, signature, the other part of the signature, which is S. Now S, remember from the last video, is negative R, 
times to the inverse of j, and this is all modulo p minus 1. So r was already computed here, which is 2 uh, 212, so it's negative 212 times j, and j is the number that we chose here, so that remember is uh, 283, and that's the inverse of that, modulo 936. Now, because nine, uh, 283 and 936, they have no common divisors, then this inverse here actually exists, and the way you compute it is using the extended Euclidean algorithm uh, to do that, so you can compute the inverse of that. Uh, we have done this that several times. I'm not going to go into the details of computing that inverse, but if you actually go ahead and do it, then you're going to get 43. And negative 212 uh, modulo 936 is 724. Remember here, we are talking about the positive, the remainder is always positive or zero. So now I here do this uh, modular multiplication, uh, that's modular 936. You multiply, you get 244. Now all these computations can be done with, right, uh, very quickly in the computer. So I already have my signature here. So Eve already compute the signature. Now what she has to do is she has to generate the message. And that's the third step, that's what we uh, explained in the previous video. So the third step will be to compute the message M, which she cannot control that much because she already the only thing that you can control is the i and the and the j, not exactly the message. So the message is always computed like this. It's always uh, s times i modulo the prime minus one. And so s, uh, according to the previous computation, and this is something that Eve did, is 244, which is this number right here, times i, which is, was the chosen number for from that uh, algorithm that we described in the previous video. In this case, it's our choice was 355, and this is modulo the prime minus one. Uh, P, remember, is 937, so this is 936. That's a simple modular multiplication, and if you go ahead and double check that, you're gonna get uh, 508. And that is the message that was computed uh, using the choices that we made uh, before. So now, what Eve can do is, now Eve has everything that needs to be included in the package, which is, uh, she has the message, 508, and the signature RS, which is right here. So now Eve, what she can do is, she can just go ahead and send that message through the channel, and then Alice will get it. And once Alice gets it, she's going to check that the, val the signature is valid, which is going to be the case, because as we saw in the previous video, it was always going to work if you do all this in the order that I just described here. So this is gonna be sent to Alice. So Alice now gets the uh, the whole package. It has uh, the message and the signature and now she's gonna verify. And remember, the way that uh, Alice verifies that is to do a couple of computations. One, she's gonna compute B to the R times R to the S and this is all modulo P. B is part of the public uh, key, key which is in this case 387, R is the thing that she received as a part of the signature, which in this case is, uh, as you can see here, is 212, and then she computes R to the S, R is, of course, uh, 212 to S, which is 244, that R and S are part of the signature, and P is the prime number which is public. So she's go ahead and compute this, this is a modular exponentiation, which is fast to do, and then if you do this, modulo 937, you get 613. Similar for this one, modular exponentiation, you get 462. And then you multiply this to modulo 937, and you get 232. Now, she has to now compare this number with alpha to the m modulo p. And if those numbers agree, then the signature is valid. So, bec why? Because that's exactly the verification algorithm for the Elgamal signature. So now we're gonna get alpha to the m modulo p, which is 164, that's alpha, to the m, the message is was sent to the channel, which is, remember was 508, and that's modulo 937, and you get 232. So what that means is basically that the signature is valid. So these two numbers agree, so the signature is valid, which is not something desirable in a scheme here. So. Um, and remember, this is not something that is undoable if the numbers are large. If the numbers are large, large, it doesn't matter. Eve can still do this. She can still do the attack 
even in the numbers, if if the prime number is like for example 10, um, um, 1024 uh, bits, so it doesn't matter if it is large or not, this, this can be done still. Now, there are ways to prevent this. Uh, one way to prevent it uh, is to do some hashing or uh, to do some padding on the message. Now, that's something that we're not going to cover in this sequence of videos. So, but that's something that is a weakness of the school book uh, Elgamal signature, this kind of attack. All right, so that's actually all I have to say about the Elgamal signature. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, something that is an I standard for signatures and it's another uh, way to sign messages. So I will stop the video now and I will see you in the next video.